Welcome again to My Friend the Holy Spirit by Gift the Body Love. We're still talking about the Holy Spirit and talking about how the assignment comes before the body and then a body is created. So if you have a body, remember the last time when we ended, we said if you have a body, you have an assignment. In the same way, think about it this way. When I, before I wore this robe, I had an assignment for it. Even going to buy this robe, I knew what I wanted to do with it. So the assignment for this robe came before I got this robe. And the fact that I'm wearing this robe and it's not in my closet means that this robe cannot operate without me. The same thing. As a spirit, you have your assignment before you have a bodysuit. Just like you go to the space, you wear a spacesuit. When you're on earth, you have to have a bodysuit. So an assignment was created first before your bodysuit. So you have a bodysuit to perform your assignment. So it's the same way. It's just like if you want to go to the gym. You say, oh, I want to work out. What do you do? The workout idea comes first. The assignment or rather the work for working out comes first. And then you go and buy the gym clothes. So when the gym, you're buying gym clothes, they already have an assignment. In the same way, when you're wearing a body, you already have an assignment. And that assignment, you can only know by my friend, the Holy Spirit. He's the only one who, who saw. Remember my prayer? He was there when you were being created. He, he was creating you. The Bible says that nothing was created without him either. And the Spirit of the Lord has made me. So he knows your assignment. He knows, just like he conceived Jesus Christ. He knows what you're supposed to be doing. And he's the only one who has the best interest of the kingdom at heart. Who has the best interest of the Father at heart. Remember, he doesn't speak out of his own. He speaks what he hears the Father speak. And he reveals to us the deep things of God. One thing I want to tell you is that the soul and the spirit and the body work out as one. When my spirit gets what, you know, it, it, it communicates with God and I am praising and worshiping my soul. You will, you will see sometimes maybe I'm, you're crying or you just feel so like, oh my gosh, God, you're amazing. And your hands might just be lifted up. Why? Because the spirit took it. The soul felt it and the body manifested it. The same way God works. God the Father thinks. God the Son speaks. God the Holy Spirit manifests. And that is the only way you can be able to know who God is. And the kingdom uh, assignment that you have is through God the Holy Spirit. As we continue to learn who we are, and as we continue to grasp this idea that we are spirits first before our body was created for us, then we will know and desire to know, why am I here? And you will not uh, be cheated that, oh, you're just a mistake. It doesn't matter if your parents didn't want you. It doesn't matter if you are thrown in a pit latrine and somebody picked you up. It doesn't matter if you are an orphan. It doesn't matter if people hate you. It doesn't matter what people call you. It doesn't matter your situation. You have an assignment, and not just a man assignment, but a God assignment. And that as God assignment, you need to be equipped for that assignment. Remember, you have the assignment before you even qualify. You are made president before you even know how to become a president. And that is how God operates. God operates not like man. Man wants to see your resume. They want to see your experience. They want to see how much have you worked and where have you worked and what have you done. No, God doesn't want your experiences. In fact, he, does, he wants you to set your experiences aside and let him give you his own experiences. Let him give you kingdom experiences. Let him teach you. Let him train you. So that you can be a good child of God. The Bible says, remember, that they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And it is only by the Spirit of God that we put to death the deeds of the flesh. That we may live. So remember, you are very important. You are a child of God. Do not accept any other lie. Step in, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior if you have not. And if you have, go the next step further and don't just stop there. Ask for your friend, the Holy Spirit. Ask for your mentor, the Holy Spirit, because you are not going to be successful in a kingdom where you just happened to go into. You have no idea 
about the kingdom, all you have is a map, which is the Bible. You can never even understand the Bible without revelation from the Holy Spirit of God. That is why you cannot afford to ignore this third person, the third witness of Christ, who is the Holy Spirit of the living God. I pray that even as we continue this series of the Holy Spirit, that we will continue to desire and every single time ask God, Father, continue to teach me. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me know who, who I am and what I was created to be. In Jesus' name, I thank you so much for joining. I bless you in the name of Jesus. May you join us next time as we continue with the series, the Holy Spirit. Thank you.